Hi, this is Dr. Tony Cooper, and this is Life Without Baggage. In this podcast, I'll help you develop a stronger sense of self, develop firmer boundaries, and also learn how to lean into the gentle promptings of the Holy Spirit who can help you navigate life. I have dozens of bonus videos posted that will help you in these areas and also will help you develop stronger coping skills. In each of the program notes, there's a link where you can request a free digital book, Understanding Your Dreams, where you can find my other media and also where you can find my books on Amazon. Just a reminder before we get into today's episode that this is not a substitute for medication or counseling. If you're having thoughts of harming yourself or another person, or if this material triggers you, please contact your doctor or a mental health specialist to help you with your concerns. Now here's today's episode. I'm starting a new series today that I'm calling Levels of Freedom. The last 40 or 50 episodes, I've been focusing a lot on the nuts and bolts of how to improve your coping. And I'm pivoting a little bit to focus more on the spiritual principles. And I'm going to explain more about the reasons I'm doing that. But I'm going to be focusing a little more on the, the spiritual principles that promote emotional growth, peace, transformation, and also things that help improve your understanding of yourself and some direction for life. Now, before I get into today's episode, I would ask that if you're enjoying these principles that I've been sharing, would you consider picking up one of my books on Amazon? If you've been listening to my podcast, you know I have two devotional books, one called Sheep Hear His Voice and one called Insights into Faith, a workbook also called Life Without Baggage that will help you find greater emotional freedom and peace, a Bible study, and two books that will help you with personal coping and understanding distortions and understanding yourself. So consider picking up one of those for yourself or a friend. So let's get into today's episode. So each episode I talk about Uh, my books, my videos, and uh, the podcasts that give you step-by-step instructions on how to shift your boundaries, how to build confidence, how to change the way that you talk to yourself. And all of these things can be very useful and very valuable. However, one of the things I'm aware of which you may or may not know, is that there are an amazing number of people who consider themselves people of faith, but they really don't know how to access their faith to help them when they're going through something difficult, to get wisdom that they need. When they pray over things, they don't really know how to get an answer when they're trying to discern God's will. And so it, it I'm just reminded of the need to help people understand more about how to access their faith in navigating the difficulties of life, in how to find deeper peace, how to keep growing as a person and not repeat the same mistakes over and over. So so to find a deeper measure of power, of peace and joy, like I talked about in the last podcast, we really need supernatural help from God. There are periods in our life where we go through circumstances that are very intense. And if we are not able to get grounded in our faith each day and rooted to draw the uh, supernatural help we need, then we will just be you know, torn apart by the things that go on in families, the things that go on in culture, the ups and downs in a very chaotic world that we live in right now. I've been thinking about lately, just different things have brought to mind. The way that I looked at life, the way that I was feeling 25 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, and I've been very thankful of ways that the Lord has worked in some 
deeper strength into my personality that wasn't there before. I went through a really intense period of stress about about 20 years ago. And everything got turned upside down. Everything that I thought my life was going to be, everything that that created the structure for my life, it all got turned upside down. And at that time, I told my pastor, and I said it sort of as a joke, but I meant it, that I was learning how to live in the supernatural because the natural sucked. And so I'm sure you can relate to times where most of the things going on around you, something that was happening, a loss, a change, a rejection, maybe somebody passed away, a medical crisis, that things can happen that turn our lives upside down. And we don't want our peace, we don't want our joy dictated by the things that happen to us. So we need to learn how to enter into deeper and deeper levels of peace, deeper and deeper levels of freedom. So a lot of what I'm going to be talking about for the next few episodes, at least, I'm not sure how long this series will go, is from my book, Life Without Baggage. It's the one, if you're watching this on video, you can see it in the background there. It's the one that this podcast is actually named after. And it's a workbook that I put together incorporating different things that I had learned in getting free myself of things that plagued me and also ways to pray that I found accelerated people's progress and just loosening up things that seemed stuck. Now, obviously, I believe in counseling. I've been in private practice since 1986 working with people, but I also know that there's certain limits of how fast counseling can, can help us, how difficult certain things are to change. And I, I'm just, as I remind people in my office, and as I say here frequently, we're spirit, soul, and body. So there are things that we need to do to keep our bodies healthy. There are things that we can do so that our soul, our, our mind, our emotions, our will become stronger and healthier. But God has designed us so that when our spirit is quickened by his Holy Spirit and we're living out of our spirits, then that can accelerate the progress that we make. And that also gives us supernatural power to not be defined and controlled by our circumstances, by things that we're told that maybe aren't even true, that we can discern what is the truth and, and discern from the Lord what we need to do. So let me explain what I, what I mean by that. And I'm going to read a little bit from the Passion Translation today so that you know this isn't just my opinion. This is what the Bible teaches. It's good to get to know your Bible, even if you're just reading a few minutes a day, because then you'll know what God wants you to know so that you can be more successful, more peaceful, more powerful. So 2 Corinthians 5.17, now if anyone is enfolded into Christ, that means has asked Jesus to be your savior, you have become an entirely new person. All that is related to the old order has vanished. Everything is fresh and new. So that verse tells us we don't just become better people. We, we become a brand new creation. It's the picture of the metamorphosis. What is that creature that transforms into a butterfly? It's, it's not e even the same. It's a metamorphosis. It's a complete change that we become new creations. So when we aren't enfolded in Christ, before we ask Jesus to be our savior, we are limited by our own intellects, our own uh, willpower, but we become new creations with new capabilities and supernatural gifts. And again, from the Passion Translation, 2 Corinthians one twenty one. 
It is God himself who has anointed us. In other words, he empowers us. He is constantly strengthening you and us in union with Christ. He has stamped his seal of love over our hearts and has given us the Holy Spirit. So it's the Holy Spirit that gives us power where we're not limited by our own little human spirit. We are empowered by the Holy Spirit. And so that opens up possibilities that aren't there when we're just relying on our own strength, our own wisdom, our own willpower. Actually, Ephesians chapter three talks about he can do far more than we can even imagine. Also, I'm going to read again 2 Corinthians 3.18 about the power of the Holy Spirit. You've heard me read this from the Amplified. I'm going to read it from um, the Passion today. We can all draw close to him with the veil removed from our faces. And with no veil, we all become like mirrors who brightly reflect the glory of the Lord Jesus. We are being transfigured into his very image as we move from one brighter level of glory to another. And this glorious transfiguration comes from the Lord who is the spirit. So again, this talks about the supernatural process of becoming more and more like Jesus Christ, less and less like the bad things in our old nature and more and more our own personalities empowered and and changed by the Holy Spirit. He doesn't blot out who we are, but the old nature, the bad things, the negative things, the sinful things, those lose their power over us. They lose their hold as we learn how to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, many people recognize their need for more spiritual power. And even people that don't follow Jesus Christ as their savior, that have never asked Jesus to be their savior, many people are looking for ways to access spiritual power. However, there are are ways that are good for us to access spiritual power, and there are ways that are not good for us. I want to talk a couple of minutes about that. So Shana Rattler uses the term mixing. If you think about a mix, like if you're in the kitchen and you want to follow a recipe, if you want to make a cake, there's ingredients you need, there are steps you take to get a cake. If you want to make an omelet, you can get a recipe, you can follow the uh, steps, use those ingredients and come out with a delicious omelet. If you want to make a casserole or a roast, you might get a recipe, you follow the steps, and then when you have put the ingredients together and you have created your your work of art in the kitchen, you have a delicious roast or a delicious casserole. But what happens if you mix the ingredients, the steps that are supposed to make a cake and the ingredients or steps that you would use to make a casserole? You would not have what you wanted to create. And so when we mix different philosophies with what the Bible teaches, with our faith in Jesus Christ, they don't really mix. You have a mess and you are likely to get farther and farther away from Jesus Christ. And you have to be careful because in our culture now, there are so many brands of what's called spirituality and there's spirituality that leads us to God and their spirituality that will confuse or take you into dark practices that you may not even know what you may not even realize that you have stepped away from God. And the, the Bible warns us about this. Actually, the apostle Paul had to warn the Corinthians of the same thing. Again, I'm in the book of second Corinthians today. That seems to be that seems to be like the theme for today. All of these 
verses have been from 2 Corinthians. So this is chapter 11, and I'm going to read in verse 3. I'm afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's clever lies, your thoughts may be corrupted and you may lose your single-hearted devotion and pure love for Christ. And he warns that they gladly tolerate those who come preaching a pseudo-Jesus, not the Jesus we have preached. You have accepted a spirit and gospel that is false, rather than the spirit and gospel you once embraced. How tolerant you have become of these imposters. So we are cautioned that people may tell you that this is what Jesus says, or this is another form of spirituality, and you can include it as you follow Jesus. But that isn't what the Apostle Paul warns us about, and it isn't what the Bible teaches. Also, the book of 1 John chapter 4 gives us some ways to tell the difference between a true teacher and a false teacher. Here's what he says. Don't trust every spirit, but carefully examine what they say to determine if they are of God, because many false prophets have mingled into the world. Here's the test for those with the genuine spirit of God. You, there can be a spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit. They will confess Jesus as the Christ who has come in the flesh. So there's lots of teaching that is spiritual in nature, but not all teaching is consistent with what the Bible teaches about Jesus Christ. And when a teacher gets away from the uniqueness of Jesus Christ, who came in a body to die for sin and then was resurrected because he is God. He was not a special person. He was not one of many special people. He, he is the unique son of God. And any spiritual power that we are trying to get that is separate from Jesus Christ or separate from the word of God, then we are following a different kind of spirit, it would say in 2 Corinthians. So in the coming weeks, I'm going to go more into accessing your spiritual power and ways to pray that will help you unload baggage that you don't want to carry and enter in more deeply, more joyfully, more peacefully, living out of your spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So let me pray for you. Lord, we thank you that you love us, that you care for us, that you want us to be free, but you also want us to be safe. So I pray that you would help this person recognize one step that they can take to move more directly into the light of Jesus Christ and to access your power more fully for peace and for direction. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper, and this is Life Without Baggage. Thanks for listening. And if this helped you, share it with a friend. I'm going to talk to you next time a little bit more about how to find greater freedom.